Well, Singapore is expanding a facility in Tuas to increase by three times the amount of recycled used water. Water demand is expected to double by 2065. A tender for the construction of the expanded new water factory will be called later this year. When complete, it can produce enough water per day to fill more than 130 Olympic-sized swimming pools. As a chapter on Singapore's water story closes, another opens. After more than two decades, one of the country's first full-scale water recycling factories closed its doors in July. Pioneers and industry partners commemorated the milestone at the closing ceremony of the Bedo New Water Factory. Celebrating the people and technology that made it possible to turn used water into something drinkable. Today, New water continues to be of great significance in Singapore's history. It gave Singapore our first weather-resilient water source. It enabled Singapore to reuse every drop and in doing so, allowed us to close the water loop. The Bedok facility will be replaced with a third factory within the Changi Water Reclamation Plant. It will have more than double the production capacity than its predecessor. Coming soon too is the Tuas Water Reclamation Plant. It will boast a new expanded factory that can produce 75 million gallons per day. They are part of three water recycling plants under the nation's used water management system serving the northern, western and eastern regions. All these steps have strengthened Singapore's move towards water security. Without re water recycling, I think you've got a huge problem because you've got to find new sources. So you're talking about climate change, you're going to have less rainfall. You know? So how are you to get, going to get new, uh, new sources of water? So recycling definitely is the way to go. Not, only, not just in Singapore, I think in other countries of the world. The Tuas Water Recycling Plant will be part of the larger Tuas Nexus, the world's first integrated waste and water treatment facility. Launched in 2002, new water is one of four national taps of water in Singapore. Other sources are catchment, desalinated water and water imported from Malaysia. With demand projected to nearly double by 2065, pardon me, we look at the role new water plays in strengthening water security. A new water was created as a new source of water for Singapore at a time when water security was an existential challenge. Through a highly complex network of sewage drains and technology, the process turns used water into ultra-clean, high-grade potable water. To make it safe for drinking, used water is first treated before undergoing a three-stage purification process to remove all harmful particles. A new water was not widely accepted at first, but National Water Water agency PUB convinced companies to use it in industrial processes, even as it educated the public on its safety. Now, more than 860 companies use new water. In a poll among residents, 98% of respondents said they would drink new water. Today, new water meets around 40% of Singapore's water demand. It's expected to meet more than half the country's needs by 2060.